This is the Creative Market Free Goods Roundup for the week of October 13th, 2014. There's six different free goods this week, but they are free this week only. So if when you're watching this video, any of them look like something you might want to use, check out the description of this video where I will place links to each one of them. So I'm going to start at the top here on the left with Creativo, Creative One Page Template. This file includes seven different Photoshop files, and if you want to convert this into a working website, you will need to have some coding knowledge, although even if you don't have that coding knowledge, it's still a great resource as far as looking at layout ideas as well as different color choices used. So this is the main page or home page right here. I'll zoom down so we can kind of take a look at how this particular page is structured. There's a bunch of different potential layouts included on this main page from meet the team to a news section, and as we get down to the bottom here, there's a map as well as the footer. Here's a services page. It's based on a web hosting theme, although it could apply for most subscription type services. A bunch of different possible layouts here and all this type is live so if you want to go in here and change all this type around for mock-up or some similar purpose you can definitely go ahead and do that here's a blog page is actually a pretty interesting idea how they have it set up like a timeline almost of course in these black boxes these would typically be images or something similar to that and here's an alternative blog post format a little bit more standard in its execution Here's the individual blog post page. I actually really like the colors they use in this particular theme as well. I think they're pretty cool. Once again, a bunch of different layout ideas throughout this here, as well as a nice structure for this form. And we have that blog layout once again here. Here's a projects page. There's a bunch of different boxes for various portfolio items, if that's what you're working on, designs, whatever it happens to be you want to show off. A nice little standout here for the person who made this portfolio or the client it's for. And here's the project page. This is where the image slider or slideshow would be. Area for description here. Overall, very clean and effective layout throughout all these. And here's the other elements page. So a bunch of different possible formulations for tabs, as well as buttons and headings. And then a few different image layout options as well. So definitely a ton of different layout options here. And these are all layered. So you can go ahead and check out the layers of these. And you can see how they actually formatted the individual items inside. Some of these are pretty simple, but there's a bunch of different things going on in here. But if you're unfamiliar with how to set up a mock-up website like this one, it might give you some good ideas if you go through these actual layers and kind of check out how this particular one was made. And you can kind of rebuild your own thing using the knowledge that you learned from that. That's always an interesting way to actually go about learning how to do this kind of stuff. So if you are a coder and you think you can convert this into a working website, or if you just want to use this for layout ideas, definitely pick this one up and check it out. Next is Flat Icon Set. The file formats included are EPS and JPEG, although you'll get a lot more use out of the EPS files since you can actually go in there and move around the elements a little bit easier. And there's 20 different icons to choose from. This is pretty straightforward. If I zoom in on these individual elements, you can see that the actual line quality and line work in all these is handled really well. There's no wonky or crazy edges, so that's always a big plus. We don't have to go in and clean up rough edges before using the files. There's a nice varied selection of different icons to choose from here, and the actual color palettes used are really great too. I think all these work pretty well together. There's the more standard icons, like these magnifying glasses glasses and the chat bubble, but there's also some unconventional stuff like this lifesaver. So overall, these are really clean and well executed. And if you think you'll have use for them, definitely check this pack out and put it to use. And next we have simple user interface kit. The file formats included are Photoshop as well as Adobe Fireworks. I actually don't have Adobe Fireworks, so I have this open inside Photoshop. And this is a very clean and professional looking UI layout. This file is totally layered, so you can go ahead and check out these individual elements, like this rectangle right here. And the cool thing about this particular file, at least in Photoshop, is you can actually see what effects they have applied to this rectangle. So this one's running a stroke as well as a drop shadow. So if you're actually looking to learn more about UI design, it's a great way to go in here and actually see how all these individual elements were crafted. So you can learn the little tricks that this particular author used when creating this UI template. And as I said before, this is a very clean and professional UI template. There's a bunch of different layout elements included in this from navigation on the side here, the buttons, forms, as well as headings, and a nice little color selection to pick from. So definitely a really good UI template. If you're looking for a modern and clean layout, this seems very business oriented to me. And once again, definitely check out the layers, especially if you want to learn more about UI design. You can see exactly how these were built, as well as what effects were applied to them. And it's also worth noting that all the type is fully live and editable. If you happen to have Helvetica New, I believe, which was used in the creation of this, you can go ahead and go in here and customize all this type. So if you think you'll have use for this particular UI stylebook template, or if you want to even just go in here and kind of learn how this was actually created, definitely pick this one up and check it out. And these bottom three goods are free on Facebook and they're super easy to get. Just hit this free on Facebook button and then like Creative Market on Facebook, and then a download link will appear. So I'm going to start the left here with Neatly, a responsive HTML template. This is an HTML theme, so some coding knowledge will definitely be really helpful if you do want to end up using this. And on the front page here, we have a really nice and large image slider that you can either scroll through or it also scrolls through automatically. And as this says, it is fully responsive, so it should look great on any kind of device you want to throw it at. And the overall presentation of this is extremely professional. I think it's really well handled. There's a bunch of different sections to choose from and utilize. So this one's showing a team, but you could also use this as a portfolio or to show new products, things like that, depending on what it is you want to display. There's this blog section that I really enjoy. If I zoom in on a particular 
particular blog post. It has really nice big images with a lot of different type options, such as this little call out right here. So it's always nice to see a little bit of versatility built in as well as an author credit and a comment section. So that's another big bonus on this particular one if you can get that set up and working in an HTML format for yourself. Here's another way you can present your particular projects. And as you can tell, this is very interactive in the way it works. So it's always nice to see websites that respond when you actually hover over stuff. If I zoom in on a project, really nice large images with type below. So this should be really good for anyone trying to display a particular project or a portfolio. It seems to be built around that as a core value. At the bottom here, we have the footer with social buttons as well as get in touch. So contact information and a blog archive. If I zoom back up to the top here, there's this menu where you can actually pick which page you want to go to. So there's even a built in 404 did not find page. There's the portfolio. The portfolio page shows a whole bunch of items. I'll just shrink this down quickly so we can see how it actually works as a responsive website. I haven't been able to find any particular bugs when using this, so it seems like the responsive design was handled pretty well. And here's the journal, which is basically the blog. Really nice large images along with a little short description text below. I think that's really a perfect way to handle blog. Use images to draw people in and then a little bit of text at the bottom to let people know what they're getting into before they continue on reading. So this is definitely a really professional, really well handled HTML theme. So if you are comfortable working with HTML code and aren't afraid to dive in a little bit, this is definitely a theme I would highly recommend. I think the overall result is pretty impressive. And next is watercolor alphabet. The included file formats are Adobe Illustrator as well as an EPS file. There's also a JPEG included, although the EPS and Illustrator file will be a lot friendlier to use. And it did have this background behind these letters. I went ahead and moved it to the side, just so the letters are a little bit easier to see. But if I zoom in quickly on this background, you can take a closer look at it. I'm not sure how well this will show up in the actual video, but it's a nice dot pattern that's pretty subtle. So I think that could work in a few different projects too, if you just want to use the background on its own. As far as the letters themselves, there are four different color variations included, blue, red, green, and yellow. I'll focus on the blue one right here since it's the biggest but they're all the same alphabet and up close here you can see how the watercolor effect is made it's a bunch of different subtle gradations of colors to give the overall appearance of a watercolor and then there's a bunch of drips and splatters on these letters as well to give that painterly appearance so all these letters definitely look really nice and consistent and both uppercase and lowercase letters are included which is really nice and when you zoom out here from a distance a little bit, it's definitely a very convincing watercolor effect, which in vector can be a bit tricky to pull off. So they did a good job of doing that. And with it being vector, you can make these as big or as small as you want without worrying about losing quality. And also at the bottom here are some numbers and some additional characters as well. So if you want to write out something custom, you can just ungroup this selection. And then you can go ahead and just arrange letters however you want to spell the word that you're trying to make. It's really fast and easy to do so. It doesn't take much time at all to make a word. So that pretty much covers it for this item. So do keep in mind that these are individual elements and not a typable font. So if you want to do something really long, if you want to write like a paragraph, for example, this might take quite a while. But if you're just trying to do a simple headline or a few words, it'll work really great. So if you think you'll have use of this, pick it up and check it out. And last up is Mighty, a Tumblr theme. The cool thing about Tumblr is it's really built for social sharing through the reblogging system. It's pretty unique how quickly a reblogged image can spread if a really popular blogger happens to pick it up. So for that reason, Tumblr themes always interest me. And this one is a responsive Tumblr theme as well. So if I shrink this down a little bit, you can tell that the actual images are going to resize depending on the width of my screen. So that's always a big plus. If you're working on a tablet or a mobile device, this should be pretty friendly for it all. But it's a very straightforward theme. It looks like it'll be really good for photographers or a designer or illustrator that just wants to show a lot of images. If you click on it, particular image you can see that all the notes and that's people either liking it or reblogging it are shown on the side here as well as the actual image is now larger and I believe right here where it says where the source is you could write a custom description I'm not totally sure I'm hoping that's the case since I personally always like reading someone's thoughts on the design they created or are sharing but overall it's a very simple very clean and definitely functional website so if you're on the lookout for a tumblr theme that's really professional in its presentation is great at showing a bunch of images and is also responsive this is definitely worth checking out so that's it for this week's free goods. And remember, they are free this week only. So if you want to use any of these in upcoming projects, be sure to check out the description of this video. There'll be links for them all there. And as always, if you like this video, please like and favorite. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. This video is released every Monday to let you know what's new and free at Creative Market. Thank you for watching.